Hello, one hugs to my Mercury playthrough of the Twitter fight. I conquered last time we. Well, we've been pillaging around in Anduin and just crushing every post, every opposition they even, they even think about doing. And we're just roaming through the lands. Not even is doing anything. Anything is even gonna stop me there. Also, apparently Imladus has been besieged. I will. Imladus has been at Haven for the Elves of Middle Earth in ages past. Aron Talfin has kept the forces of evil at bay by his ever vigilant watch. But the enemies have been growing. The Elves of Middle Earth leave the shores and their defenses wane in the growing darkness. Too few now patrol the hidden roads. The piercing wails of the, un of the dying land fill the forest as they return to defend what which they cherish most. Imradus must not fall on the wave of darkness that now threatens all of Middle Earth. If the city falls, the west may very well follow, and all shall perish in the coming darkness. The fences must stand, for all hope is lost. I guess. But yeah. We are doing great for now. The destruction of the elves was a very, very lucky That's blow, and very, very un... Very, very unexpected, let's say it that way. Unexpected. It was a very unexpected turn of events. We could wait it out and just siege it out, but we will do it by ourselves. So see you on the battlefield. Alright, the poor man, shall we? Alright, the Lorian archers are rebellions, are rebel are rebels. Makes total sense. Hmm. Guess they do six times speed here. We're gonna send in our Castellians of the Lugodur. Which are basically armors with you know, with spirits inside. That's it. That's not actually human inside or anyway. I thought it were humans, but no, they're actually spirits. What do you know? They're literally spirits. Bound to the Dark Lord's will. They're lesser ring raids, technically, but, you know. Not ring raids, I mean, they're just lesser raids. Oh, get on top of the wall, guys. That will help you out. Not. Yeah, leave the gate open completely for me to get to the square. Alright, that makes sense. I can just go straight for the square. Go for the square, guys. You guys get the hell back before you die. Oh, they're reacting to it. Oh, no. Exactly what I want to have happen. Isn't it exactly what I want? It is. Really, it is what I want. Because now I can do this. And fight away from those bloody towers of theirs. We do way too much damage. Let's grab these archers over here. I really don't care about losing good. I can just stay in the square with my Nazgul and finish them off anyway. My Nazguls are more than long, strong enough to keep them off. Keep me at bay long enough, you know what I mean? But then again, do I really want that? Nah, I don't really want that. I want to fight away from the squ from their square from their towers. They will do the most damage to me anyway. The towers. The very much in our favor. Victory will We're not killing out many of their men, but did I tell you you to charge it? No, I didn't. Did I? I did. Should have done that. Grab for them. Grab for them as well. Use this to help in fighting. Hopefully that works. Should be some in fighting. There we go. They are in fighting, some of them. At least my Nazgul can do some actual damage here. Get out of there. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I wish there was another angle we could attack from, but yeah, we can't. We can only attack with one angle. We could actually send our Nazgus to both sides, just like ping pong them. But I mean, that really doesn't matter.
these guys are strong enough to kill most of them on their own. So they will just have a, they will just beat their way through. Where's the general of this unit? I wonder. Where's the general? Who looks different? I wonder who it is. This one? Who would it be? Hard to say. Who would it be the general? I mean, they all look the bloody. They all look the bloody same, except these guys over here. Man, I've got of these. Hard to say. Oh, this one is it. Ah, we found them. No, he's wearing a, he's carrying the banner. The general never carries the banner, does it? Oh, it would be weird if it would be for this time. Let's keep them fighting again towards them. Let's go for these lower arches. They're the only ones that can actually do some serious amount of damage to me. Go do some charge, guys. Come on. I killed most of their fourth axemen. Good. Throw these rebel spearmen in completely in the front. Yeah, just run, you witch. There we go. Oh my. Oh my, that was a charge. It was so sped up for a second, you could just you just get slammed on the on the floor on the ground. Wow. That looks interesting. That charge killed a lot. We rampaged through the entire Lloyd Archer plus fourth axeman. We just ran through them. Nice. If only they could break. Uh, they would actually have broken there, I think. If if they could break, I think they would have instantly broken there. My castellans are just beating their way through. Ooh, not a 10% of the army has been, has been crushed there. Can we use another Nazgul shout screech? We can. This shot should do a lot of damage, hopefully. We're being slowed down by these axemen over here, but... And again, most of it does arrive in the front here, so that's good. And these axemen are taking a hit every time we pass through, so they are losing the numbers as well. I think the Lorien Archers have been killed off already. Yeah, they have been killed off. And Kassans are just keep marching forward. They just keep marching towards them and slaughtering them one by one. Keep punching them. Keep slashing them to ribbons. Oh my, that one charge though. That killed off. Basically, that was through the entire army. We just stay around, just ran through the entire army there. Let's bring in everything now. Just surround them and overwhelm them with numbers. Sheer numbers now. What's still left? There we go, they're all gone. Alright, see you guys back on the campaign map. And Aydra Khan has fallen. She'll occupy its settlement. Of course, we build the Shrine of Melkor here instantly, Leather Worker. And we shall move forward. Mission success. We have a bit of money. Although it'd be very, very faint amount of money that we got, but hey, we got some money, right? Can't complain if we didn't get some money from it. Can we build a Shrine of Melkor here? That would be great as well, but no, we can't. We are poor. Really, really poor. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. We'll grow. We'll grow stronger. We'll grow bigger and stronger. Ever before. It's making quite a lot of money, actually. Why is it making this much money? Little Hiram? Potentially, it's Little Hiram. Oh yeah, Tree Beard Hill, Keron Namrod, um, and Tirith Anduin. Which is probably Little Hiram. There's still also a, f you know, Eastern World, Western World. There's a province over here that is apparently Rebellion. That's yeah, Rebel. I could take it, but, um, yeah. That would have extended myself a bit over here, which I don't want to. Although the Rohirrim don't hate me, it's something I don't want to be dealing with right now, at this, at this moment. So we're going to march over here, put a watchtower here for certain, and then we shall march... North towards the Vandal, the Villano. Yes. And finish them off first. Finish Are one enemy sure? at a time. You know? <laughs> Even though I start fighting I them. Reach that place, my lord. Even though I started fighting I've against no them service, the you know, instantly after awaits. I took Well, I started fighting against Anduin as soon as I was fighting against the other one, so yeah. Shall crush these guys. Oh they have cavalry. That's 
dangerous, actually. But the better we kill them all on their own and then deal with the rest. Yeah, that seems like a smart thing to do. Alright. Let's finish them off. See on the battlefield. Alright, here we are. Let's deploy them in. Even though it's just, you know, however it is, and then just go with Calvary, with our general, to go kill everything. <laughs> Nazgul's are going on a par are going nuts on these guys. I like it. Go whatever you want. They can't kill you. Not yet, at least. Oh my god! We, like this, we just ran through that thing, even though we weren't even targeting it. Oh my god! I think it just got crushed. Hot. But we want to chase him down. You know, we just want to chase him down. That's the cavalry, isn't it? It is. The cavalry is gonna. Oh no! Oh no! 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 That cavalry, if it hits me, I'm dead as well. So they're gonna do the same number amount of damage to me as I did as I did to them. They're gonna crush my oak raiders here. Oh yeah, they did. Not as much number losses, but they did definitely do some number loss. There was an Nazgul in the back. There we go. Insta break. A lot of them has, been, has escaped, but... Stole sheriffs, let's go kill them. Oh no you don't, you're not escaping this, you're not doing a secondary charge, dear lord. They're ready. Now they should be crushed, again. Come on, many of them have fallen again, that's good. It's a pretty boring battle, but... I mean, though we're speeding it up to such a degree. Half the enemy force remains. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Actually, isn't the battle over yet? We're still fighting. Oh, these guys have already cr crushed before. My, the one that took the first charge. <laughs> Only the Outriders will survive, and even they have lost significant numbers. God damn birds! Stop making sounds. Hate them. Alright. 18 left, they're all gone now. They will break as soon as they get into the line. They will not charge at all. Oh, there we go. As soon as they've charged, they, they broke. I think they lost more num- the cavalry lost more numbers almost from that charge than I did. Which is kind of sad, really. Luckily, my Nazgul's were just- my Nazgul's were just a little bit late for the charging, but they did arrive, so... They did a lot of damage to it. Don't run next to it. Run- I drew them! Damn it, I hate when- when my- when they do this. Just run through them. If you don't run next to them, you lose time that way. There we go. That's how you clean them up. They should be completely crushed. There we go. Ten riders survived. So see you guys back on the campaign map. Should be executed. I could sell them for money. Because units are so bad. I could just sell them for money, but yeah. Is it worth it? No, it's not. Just be a nuisance that to kill them all again. And again, and again, you you get the point, right? I mean, we'll have to keep killing them all the time, and we just get like, ugh, just be gone, please, thank you. All right, let's end another turn and see what happens, shall we? Hmm. Well, so far the. Vales of Adam are not really putting up any fight whatsoever. The only real fight it is is with the skin changes. That's it. Out there, about the rest, they did nothing really of importance. I might as well. Where the hell will you pop up? No, oh, you'll pop up in the location where I don't really care for you, but it'll keep you anyway. Doesn't really matter. Send emissary to Norton Dunedain. That's. Oh my god. You know how far it is? I can't get there in time. Yes. Yes. There's no way I can get there in time at all. Stopping here. I'll try though, but you know. that's not that uncommon. Why do we make a ballista maker here? Can somebody explain to me why I did that? <laughs> I don't know myself, so it's hard to say. Let's build more of these guys because we need to. Uh, we really don't need to, but we need some kind of garrison inside the cities, right? I mean, really, I can't keep them. Completely unoccupied, so that will not go too well. I'm pretty sure about that. No taxation here. So stuff can grow. And again, I probably should put high taxation because, well, you know. How come this is damaged? Damn AI doesn't know how to defend its own provinces. It breaks it and destroys it. 
All right, Nazgul, you need to go to the. There we go. Just we wanted as much as man, man possible in, the, in one battle. It makes it faster that way. So we're fighting against the Captain. This no, we're not fighting against that thing. We're fighting against these two. Hmm. Hurt us. Doesn't really matter too much. All right. Let's kill Captain Hama, shall we? See you on the battlefield. All right, we are back. Let's start a battle. Let's start running them over. Oh no, Bogman, we don't want to be charging against those. Those will be bad. We don't want to charge directly into Pikemen. That would not go too well for us. Let's go after these Veilsmen over here. Charge. Boom. Destruction of those Veilsmen over here. They have not been crushed, but they have took their, took their different losses. And their morale has been completely diminished. Keep in mind, the lesser men they got, the lesser morale the entire army has. So that's good for me. Let's go after these store hunters. Store sheriffs. Uh, hunters. I thought it was sheriffs. They're hunters. Okay, never mind. Let's go after them. Kill the general. I believe that's the general over here. I do say I believe. I'm not sure about it, uh, but I believe it is. They will be crushed in one charge. They reach my line. Please finish these store sheriffs off quickly. So I can go after the rest of the army. Damn birds! Shut up, all the. I mean, really. Crush these veil defenders over here. Please break them. There we go, we broke them. We had a secondary cavalry unit, but we don't, so have to make do with what I got. We're losing orcs, which I don't like, but yeah. And again, they're orcs. Do I care about their numbers lost? Not too much. Alright, let's go for this. Come on, bring him down better, faster, come on. We could have already killed him a long time before, come on. We need to help out the, our other armies. I will sound annoyed because of the bloody sound in the background. You'll, you'll know. The there we go. The enemy are badly they have lost half their Those two have been broken, good. Please crush these Veil vale Vanduin guys here. Veilsmen over here. We have these Veilsmen over here. The general. Nice. That's what we need. Alright, that's most of them should be gone, except the store sh uh, the store hunters over here. They're the ones that are gonna escape here. Which is gonna suck, but not much you can do about that for now time being. Let's use sh that they have Nazgul. We're gonna drop these spikemen over here. They have been crushed. Good. That's what we needed. Chase them down a bit. Chase them down correctly, please. Thank you. I mean, don't walk beside them. Walk through them. Why well, you kill them all? Why are there goons over here? What the hell? Chase them down correctly. Come on. What's up with this stuff? Come on. Chase them down. Don't walk. Don't walk beside them. I you're running away from them. What the hell are you doing? Run through them. There we go. No, no, don't think about it. Okay, now we can help help our pikemen out. So we destroy the pikemen over here. Even though they're losing anyway. What the hell? How are they losing anyway? Are they going... What the hell are they doing? They're just running... That's interesting. <laughs> they're just running through. They're... Okay, that's stupid of them. I mean, Mokes are not strong, yes, but they're not that weak anyway. Is that you're not strong enough to just run through them. I mean, if you were like, I don't know, Fountain God, I could not expect it, but damn. They're directly in front of their noses. Not something at all you want with Pikemen at all, really. You don't want to be standing in front of the enemy. You'll get your ass kicked then anyway. You don't have the range advantage, which Pikemen normally have. Jason down correctly, please. Thank you. That's weird as hell. Secondary army has been crushed. And that's completely gone. Well, let's end the battle here, shall we? Perfect. And see you guys again on the campaign map. And excuse.
There we go. Completely van vanquished. And obliterated. Get ready for fighting. Grab for the next army, which has some herders, which is not really a problem for me. I can just crush the herders by himself. It's it wards, though. They're interesting. And that's about it, really. Alright, see you guys again on the campaign map. Against us. We must act uh, we are just cleaning up these small insignificant battles here. We're just cleaning up the small insignificant armies because, well, we need to do it anyway someday. So, yeah. Just clean them up whenever we can. Let's go for these defenders over here. Crush them completely. They're charging me. Good. I want them to charge me. This, ver uh, this herd is going to be a, no a nuisance, are they not? Go for them. Hit them a bit. But that's only a bit. We actually lost more numbers than they have. Wow. Kill them off. We should be able to beat them in melee combat. Easy. Because they're really bad in melee combat. We're normally fighting the Veil Defenders along, that, along with that, all of it. Come on, finish them off. Use this. Because they're doing a massive damage against my, uh, my Orc Raiders. That's the general, good. That's what we needed. Let's go after Eotids over here. Eotids Wardens, let's go after them. These battles are so insignificant, it doesn't really matter. But we are losing Orc, no Orc Raiders here though, many of them. They'll be broken. There we go. Broken. They have lost half their men. One charge broke. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Now for these guys for a second. Do they will break and get themselves killed? There we go. They've been crushed. Hopefully, not yet. No, they have. They've been crushed. Okay, good. I'll have many war. I've lost many orcs this battle, but and again, I don't care about my orc raiders. Look, I'm. Please chase them down correctly. You've been annoying me the entire time. It's not worth, I mean, really, it's good practice for you guys. You should be practicing about doing this, because in more important battles, this will actually matter. In this battle, it doesn't really matter, because this battle is pointless anyway, but dear lord, in more important battles, this not, should not be allowed at all. I mean, look at this. Oh, now they're doing it correctly, alright. Doing it correct, not correctly. I don't think that's even a word. Is it a word? Hmm. I think it's not doing it correct. And again, I'm not an English native, so. English native speaker, so. A native. English speaker. I think that's, yeah. It's not my primary language, I'd say that way. That probably sounds better. Alright, let's end the battle here because it's basically over anyway. There we go, we lost even more orcs, but it doesn't really matter anyway. These orcs are just use this cannon fodder just to absorb hits, nothing else really. See you guys back on the campaign map. And they'll execute them oh, my Lord. as well. Ah! The only thing that they're really doing is just slowing me, it's just emptying their, their lands for me. They're just emptying their entire, you know, armies for me. It will just make it easier for me to take over their, their city. So see you guys again on the campaign map because we are cleaning up so many small armies here. See you guys in a sec. Let's deploy the men, shall we? And start a battle. Let's go, guys. Six times speed, and this should be the last battle, hopefully. Of any small, insignificant little specks of an army that I have to be dealing with. Women's trackers and prominent archers. And some store sheriffs. Charge them all through there! It doesn't matter! They can't fight me. We just crushed the store sheriffs, but just running through them. Nice. Alright. Prominent archers have been crushed here. Let's go for these guys again. Women trackers. Keep switching between those two a bit. Store shaft. I think they throw they throw stones, don't they? Yeah, yeah they, throw, they they throw stones, rocks at me. That should not kill an, an armed, you know, an armed or soldier at all. It really should not. Should be capable of that as well. It can maybe knock somebody out, but it shouldn't kill them. Only half the enemy force remains. I mean, even then, knocking somebody out with a rock when they have wear full plated armor. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, the shock might, you know, be a bit annoying, but it won't kill him. That's for sure. I mean, come on, full blade armor. But a helmet. <laughs> That's the general. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Let's get these store sheriffs for a bit before they're allowed to do. Actually, they're Emily. I didn't. Oh no, they're not. They're throwing rocks at me. Are they not? They're throwing rocks at me. Oh, there they. Kill them. March, they're, doing, they're actually killing my orcs with that. What the hell? Kill them. I can't believe they killed so many orcs with rocks. Oh, orcs' height must be really, really bad if they get hit by a rock and they die. And again, they're not wearing any helmets, so a rock to the face might hurt a lot. And might kill you, actually, if they hit hard enough and hit you at the right spot. It might kill you. We, await your command. we literally lost 42 soldiers from rocks. Alright. Seven of them only recovered. Okay. See you guys back. Actually, see, yeah, see you guys back at the main map. We executed, of course. Man will survive this day. Indeed, we have. Let's march to the Balesman capital of Selleberg. Which has, you know, some buildings inside. I mean, I can already see them, so, yeah. Let's bring in reinforcements immediately. Let me expand. New mission. Yeah, I already know that. Queue stalled. Earn. End of the reports. Everything except the military. Even production is going down. Which is kind of interesting. Um, there's actually Captain Elgant here. No big deal. I mean, really. Even if he goes to fight against me somewhere, he'll get crushed. Let's get inside here. And just wait for it to, and then we'll end the turn here. And also in the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, give it subscribe for more episodes of watching, and see you guys next time. See you then. Bye. Hopefully to kill even more Vales of Andon. We'll see you then.